Hello, this is Blake. I'm a comics collector, art collector, artist, and movie fan. And I do reviews. And this is a review for Count Crowley, Reluctant Midnight Monster Hunter, number one of four from Dark Horse Comics. Okay, this is a story of a cynical journalist with a drinking problem. And notice I don't say it's about a monster hunter because this issue, there's not a lot of monster hunting. There is a werewolf in the story, but it just shows up a few pages in and attacks, and I say attacks, but really it spends the entire issue lunging. The story opens with the title character, a woman who is a late night horror film host at a small market television station. Uh, you learn that later, or from the cover. She's running out of the station where, where she starts boozing in the parking lot. She is immediately assailed by a man with a gun, and he wants her to shoot him before he changes into a werewolf and then lunges on the next page, then lunges on the last page. His lunges don't really go anywhere this issue. But the story cuts back to the previous day where we find out that she is a local TV reporter covering a Renaissance fair. She has found out that the Renaissance fair owner is swapping out cheap box wine and boasting that it's the good stuff. She has a real problem with that, and where she is supposed to be promoting the fair, decides to take the guy down for lying about the quality of the wine. She also proves to be a misanthrope and insults small town life as meaningless while she's live. So there are four pages of that, and then there are four pages of a general manager at the station, who is also her brother, wringing his hands about what to do with her. He wants her to take over temporarily for the late night horror host, who has gone missing, so as to keep her on the payroll. So she runs out and starts drinking. Then she goes home, and we see that she isn't paying her bills for some reason. I think the story takes too long to get moving. Uh, the writer spends far too many pages establishing why she lost her position as being demoted instead of what the reader picked the book up for, which is, you know, she's a midnight monster hunter. There is way too much redundancy. All you needed was to show that one time that the liquor is affecting her life, but uh, at the same time, they don't really show that. They're not really showing that it's giving her any, any negative results other than she just she's drinking some more the reason she is reassigned to another position seems to be more because she's a bitch than any drinking problem it seems the creatives just want to show her drinking because it's cool they should have just had her show up as the new host at the start where they could have just mentioned she's doing this as some sort of penance or demotion or illustrated that in a couple of panels that would have left about 10 pages or so where you could devote to moving the story along Again, anyone who picked this up was expecting the monster hunting part, not pages and pages of reasons not to like the main character. She's an elitist misanthrope who hates small town life. Uh, she doesn't pay her bills even though she has a good job and only, only has that job because of nepotism. She's a self-destructive alcoholic who spends her time at bars getting picked up as a piece of ass. So why do I care about this chick? I don't. And I'm the prime audience for this. Babes in vampire makeup? I'm there, dude. I mean, monsters? I love monsters. How can you screw that up? But they did somehow. Maybe in the next three issues, the writer will show that she has some kind of comeuppance or realizes what a loser she's been, or maybe that's what the writer was setting up. I, I don't know. And on top of that, I don't know where it's going. And based on this, I'm not coming back to find out. Yeah, I, I really was wanting to like this, and then it just... So yeah, I guess I didn't I didn't care for it. Won't be back for the next one. So so disappointing. I like the cover. I don't know. I guess that's it. I don't have much more to say. Hope I didn't bore anybody too much. I hate when I bore people. Um, thanks for watching. Hope you'll come back for the next one. I think I'm going to do more Swamp Thing reviews at some point. Thank you. Bye.
Ooh, it's got an ad for Grindel. Devil's Odyssey. I like Grindel. I like the art in that one. Probably we'll be just throwing this on the trash can.